hello some ninjas welcome back to class okay i know it's been a long time coming i was gone for a while but hopefully i'm back okay so today we're going to be treating sequences and series our previous video spoke about the upcoming examination in nigeria which is the jam utme okay so if you are in nigerian or in nigeria or have a loved one in nigeria that is about or yet to write that exam you can see the previous video and if you've seen the previous video you know that this is one topic that you would see when i say this i mean arithmetic progression and geometric progression okay we need to know sequences and series before we can dive okay so before i go on let me introduce myself because i think we have new faces hey newbies welcome to the family we are called some nigerians yeah we are some ninjas okay so my name is rose and i'm your teacher tutor whatever you want to call me yeah i would always be here to answer your questions so feel free to subscribe if you are new here and see my face for the first time feel free to subscribe because you'll be learning a lot for yourself or your loved ones and then share to people who you think would actually need this video so let's get into the video proper now what is sequence and what is series and why do we need these two things why are they always together right mm. because sequence or series needs sequence yeah series needs sequence you need to know sequence then you can know series now sequence is i'm going to say it in a very simple because i like to explain as simple as possible so it looks like i'm talking to a child so if you're a grown-up pardon me okay now sequence is any quantity or number in an ordered form yeah like either ascending or descending now youtube is a place where i get to really take my time to explain if you're coming from instagram tiktok or facebook welcome i get the proper gist okay so sequence is any quantity or number in an ordered manner either going in an ascending manner or in a descending manner now let's write and see what we mean so this ellipsis means it continues right so this is a sequence it's continuously going in an ordered manner for a series series is the sum of the terms of a sequence what do we mean you have this to be your sequence now for your series it is one plus three plus five plus seven plus continuous going so you see that for sequence you have a comma in between separating them but for a series you have an addition separating them do you get what i'm saying now that we know what sequence and series means like the difference between the two let's see other things or other examples of a sequence two is called the first term yeah you can see a pattern while moving two to four there was a pattern four to six there was a pattern six to eight there was a pattern what do i mean what's the difference between two and four two right what's the difference between four and six two right what's the difference between six and eight also two right so do you see that there is a pattern the difference between them is two so it keeps going you are able to know the next the next one should be what ten because 2 plus 8 is 10, right? The next one should be 12 because 2 plus 10 is 12. The next one should be what? 14 because 2 plus 14, 12 is 14. Do you get what we're saying? We have the finite sequence. And we have the infinite sequence. Now from your English language, finite means it has an end infinite means it doesn't have an end so what do we mean a finite sequence could be the pages of a book the pages of a book has an end right but an infinite sequence could be this one three five seven it keeps going we do not know where it's going to but it keeps going so these are the differences between a finite sequence and an infinite sequence now i can't always write and show my face at the same time because of how the body is but okay should i stay this way the lightning is the issue but we already know that a finite sequence is 
a sequence that has an end. The pages of your book has an end. You know the end of a page because imagine I have a book. Let me see. I have a book, right? This book, the end of this book is what? It's 554. Like the book has an end. So it is a finite sequence. But a case where you have the ellipsis, these three dots at the back, it means there is no end to this. We do not know where this is going. So we call it the infinite sequence, right? Now, given a question like this, you could be asked to find the next term of a given sequence, right? When you see a question like this, the first thing you do is you look at the pattern. You ask yourself, what was done to get the next term? What was done to get the next term? What was done to get the next term? So you can know what to do to get the next term. Some people could decide to go the reverse way. It all depends on you and how well you can think, right? So now for four, what was done to four to get six? Four plus two give, give us six, right? That's the only thing we can think of that we can do to four to get six. If you have any other ways you can get six with four, let us know in the comment section. But now we know that you can add two to four to get six. Now what can be done to six to get eight? You can add two to six to get eight, right? What can also be done to eight to get ten? You can add two to eight to get ten, right? So this has shown you a pattern. What did it show you? Plus two, plus two, plus two. Like we were adding two to get the next term. We added 2 to 4 to get 6. We added 2 to 6 to get 8. We added 2 to 8 to get 10. So what would you do next? Obviously, you know that you add 2 to 10 to get 12, right? It has to go in another pattern, right? Or it has to follow a pattern that just makes sense. So now you let us know what you can do to 12 to get, like what is the next term that you should get? let us know in the comment section i hope we're able to explain this in a way that you understood that being said i would see you in the next class so that we can apply what we just learned in the next class until then bye